let me tell you an another story which is a fictional narrative based on incidents from the childhood of swami vivekananda hanuman i am waiting for you who is waiting for hanuman shall we listen to the story now dum 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 come 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 and listen to the wonderful tale of lord hanuman cried the storyteller standing near the street corner and uh, playing on a little drum narin the little boy ran out of the house joining the small crowd that had begun to gather squeezing through to the front he asked the old man hanuman was fearless wasn't he sir as indeed came the answer he was so fearless that he flew up to the sun thinking it to be a fruit and try to swallow it hanuman must have been very hungry narin suggested the story teller smiled broadly he looked at the little boy narin his curly hairs and bright eyes seemed as pretty as bajrang bali one day the story teller continued Hanuman's mother went looking for him but couldn't find him anywhere. He, she felt she began to worry. This little boy always getting into trouble and wondered what she had got up to. Narin, Narin's eyes grew with excitement and was so curious to listen to the next incident. Hanum suddenly the storyteller continued Hanuman's mother heard a shout someone was running towards her she asked what's the matter your son he wailed he is eating all my bananas in the grove ha huh? a naughty boy chuckled the crowd the story teller dropped his voice and, and whispered confidentially do you want to do you ever want to meet hanuman go and see in the banana grove he loves the fruit very much you can find him always there i have one niyam in my neighborhood narin cried and ran out turned around and ran out and reached the orchard with the breath and red on his face the large banana leaves shaded the ripened fruits from the hots son narin looking into the grove and said he must be here narin mamma he was searching here and there in the entire grove peering into the all the trees but he was unable to see hanuman but narin decided he would wait so he sat under a tree laden with bananas and uh, waiting for uh, any sudden arrival of hanuman and he said to himself today is very hot so when the sun begins to set i am sure hanuman will come he said to himself the sun began to dip below the horizon and the darkness all around the rain was so difficult to see anything there still 
she's he was searching to the left right up the branches behind the trees everywhere but he could not find hanuman there then he said hanuman please come fast i can't wait much longer my mother must be getting worried please come soon he said but he heard only the noise of crickets in the grass and hoot of an owl in a tree when the stars came out and the moon rose high in the sky narin eyes are filled with tears and wore a sad look and started to walk slowly nare vishwanath datta hurried towards the weeping boy where have you been we have been so much worried baba nare cried flung himself at his father's what happened my dear child why are you crying please tell me baba anuman did not come baba i waited and waited and waited for long time he did not come oh i see don't worry my child narendra uh, vishnu datta gathered him in his arms and wiped away his tears okay narain have you considered one thing hanuman might have a busy schedule today you know is it baba how so baba really is lord drama takes care of the entire universe is it there are lot of works to be done so i am sure he sent anuman on some urgent business ha huh, yes baba he mulled over his father's words so he started slowly smiling and uh, he now understood the reason for non arrival of hanuman had uh, narain said to himself is baba work must have kept him away or else how he could have avoided so much ripen bananas here so he recited hanuman shloka with the faith that one day he would come again and see hanuman definitely so let us all recite the anuman shloka buddhir balam yashodairyam buddhir balam yashodairyam nirbayatvam arogata nirbayatvam arogata ajatyam vak padatvam sa ajatyam vak padatvam sa hanumat smaranat bhavet hanumat smaranat bhavet so children from this shloka we can understand hanuman is considered to be the embodiment of buddhi knowledge balam physical strength and ashas dhairyam that is courage and self confidence in this modern days many people would have buddhi but may not have balam that is physical stamina to execute the task 
even if both were present they would not have sufficient self confidence and motivation to execute the task successfully if the self confidence is absent what is the use of having buddhi and bala right so let us all develop all these three things we should take steps to develop buddhi balam and dhairyam self confidence we ensure that we keep enriching our knowledge at the same time we should take care of our physical strength and health and finally very important one we should never lose our self confidence and motivation dhairyam also right so all these three things are very much required in this critical period of pandemic so let us all pray to lord hanuman oh hanuman please come soon we all are waiting for you we hope la drama assigns the work to hanuman to save the entire universe from the corona virus so please come fast hanuman we all are waiting for you you finish the task successfully and visit our house we have lot of bananas in our house please come soon jai shri ram jai shri hanuman jai shri ramakrishna jai shri sharadamma jai shri swami ji ओम शांति 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 ही हरि ही ओम तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णात्मनमस्तू